Hey guys, give me just a second here. I'm trying to get chat to load. And once we manage to accomplish that, uh, we'll get started for tonight. Just got two breaks coming up this evening. We're going to do a box of 2014 black gold football, and then we're going to do our two eight box case break, uh, which is 16 total boxes, of course, of Panini unparalleled football. I just had an interesting little exchange with someone on eBay. You know, there's a whole group of people that what they like to do better than anything else is to just, you know, troll you for no apparent reason. So this person writes me and gives me a big lecture about how there's no such thing as an eight box case of unparalleled football. Like, really? Because, you know, that's what I got and that's what everybody has. And like, all you have to do is just look at anything and you can see it. But... You know, trolls, everybody's favorite. Okay, so before we get started tonight, one quick little thing here. 2018 Leaf Greatest Hits Football. Working on a break of that still. Um, selling it directly by way of chat and messages. I'm adding to that case of Leaf Greatest Hits Football an autographed Saquon Barkley jersey, which arrived today. Yay. And one team will get that awarded via random. So this is a random team break, meaning that the teams will be assigned using random.org when we start the break, which we'll do, of course, after all the spots sell. So it's $45 a spot. It's all in uh, shipping costs included. If you don't hit anything, you don't get anything in that break. No consolation cards in that one. As with any break, it's a no refund, no return kind of item. We're going to break it when it fills. Uh, we're, we still have a little bit of ways to go here. I would really like to get this broken in the next couple of days. So if you're interested in a spot in here, please let me know. Shoot me a message over on eBay and uh, let me know and we'll, we'll get you plugged in there. All right, we are now on to our regularly scheduled programming here. And first thing you see there is about feedback. That's just because it comes up a lot. I often get asked, when do I leave my feedback? Guys, I have it automated, and I do that so that you don't ever have to wait on me because I am always running at 90 miles an hour. So this way, uh, as soon as you leave positive feedback for me, you're going to instantly get it in return. And of course, the most important thing you see there is just a note to say thank you because I do appreciate everyone who bids and breaks and chats and hangs out with me. And I accidentally just hit the wrong thing and opened something up there and good grief. All right, I think we're, <laughs> I think we're back, to, back to normal now. Good grief. Uh, this is a list of upcoming breaks. This is the stuff that's already listed on eBay up and available for bidding right now. It's going to be ending over the course of the next five days. So tomorrow night, we're going to do 2016 Black Gold. Tonight's 2014. Tomorrow night's 2016. We're also going to do a couple of boxes of 2007 Upper Deck Premier, which we haven't done in a while. Another full case of Origins Football and a full case of Chronicles Baseball. On Thursday night, we will start a new case of our Leaf Autograph football jerseys and do a four-box break of that. We'll also do tomorrow night a six-box half-case break of Gold Rush Series 3 Autograph Mini Helmets. Those are coming out on Wednesday. We're going to start breaking them on Thursday. And this is a bigger half-case than normal. Mini Helmets usually come in an eight-box case or a ten-box case. This is a 12-box case, so half-case here is going to be six, and we're going to have a lot of fun, a lot of our hot young rookies in it uh, amongst others of course also on thursday night we'll open tops chrome jumbo that is my last full case of chrome jumbo of course there'll be 40 hits in that it's always loaded with stuff on friday night we'll open a triple play baseball box and autograph baseball glove that's a new product from hit parade checklist looks pretty good so let's see what we pull and we'll decide how we, how we like it from there i guess Diamond Icons. We're going to open that on Friday night. That is kind of the top's equivalent of Panini's Flawless. It's a very high-end, like $1,500 box of cards. And what you pull out of it's usually pretty nice if you're not familiar with it. Also Friday night, Contenders Draft Picks Basketball. That's its release day. We'll open a half case of that. That particular half case, guys, it's loose boxes. It's a shared case. They gave me half and someone else half on this particular one. So it did come out of a sealed case, but I got half. Somebody else got half. So there you go. Saturday, we're going to open another new item we haven't tried before. It's an autographed event ticket. So it can be like a Super Bowl ticket. It can be, you know, a, a, 
an uh, ice hockey ticket. It can be a World Series ticket. You know, just more information, of course, in the listing. A lot of those are graded, too, which is kind of cool. Uh, Series 32 autographed full-size football helmet, a half case of 2011 Prime Signatures, which we haven't opened in a while. And finally, I have up our Topps Chrome Football Mixer. And that'll be one box of 2013, one 2014, and one 2015 Topps Chrome Football. On Sunday, we'll open the second half of our case of autographed mini helmets, the second half of the case of football jerseys, and another case of Chronicles Baseball. So that's where we're looking, uh, or how we're looking in the days ahead for tonight. We have two breaks. One is a free shipping break. That's black gold football. Guys, I'm projecting that to get out on Tuesday because there's no shipping on Monday due to the holiday. Post office is closed. And in all likelihood, I will get it out to you before that. It will most likely go out on Saturday. But to be on the safe side, I'll leave it setting at Tuesday. In black gold, if you are not pulled, if your team does not come out of that box, you are still entitled to a consolation card. It can be from any year in any series. I track that stuff for a rolling 90 days. Normally what happens is I save up all those consolation cards from your free shipping breaks, and then the next time you do hit an item or a card, I gather them all up, send them all out at once. If you don't want to wait on it, you want it sent sooner, just in an envelope with a stamp, hit me up on eBay, send me a message, let me know, we'll hook you up. Our paid shipping break tonight, that's Unparalleled Football. I am projecting that as a Saturday shipping date. If I can get it out to you faster, I will. And, of course, you don't have to worry about consolation cards there because we're going to have lots and lots of cards. Everybody's going to pull something. So first up is 2014 Black Gold Football. This is break number 10. Everything we're opening tonight ended tonight, Tuesday night, the 28th of August. We have team names there on the left, winning bidders across from it on the right-hand side. I think this might be the last of the 2014 Black Gold that I have. I kind of thought I had more, but then yet, I don't know, I couldn't find it. So, <laughs> so, maybe, so maybe I don't. Um, I definitely have more 2016, but maybe not any more 2014. And, of course, you probably noticed that the background uh, went slightly out of focus there, but that's by design. That's because I don't like using autofocus. All that pesky zooming in and out makes me crazy. SNS Design and Greg are in chat. Hi, guys. How's it, how's it uh, going, SNS and Greg? We've got to get these black golds out of here and hopefully find maybe we're going to find some jimmy g in here tonight i'd like to if we can get the packs out that's a good start dale is here too hey dale so i have uh, a little thing to share with you about black gold before we get started because it applies almost every single time why are these all in here backwards tonight so strange all right well whatever um, <laughs> that is that the edges and corners of black gold are almost always imperfect to varying degrees. They'll have some chipping and some wear and whatnot, and that is just, unfortunately, it's just part of it. Uh, this particular series, because it is the dark colors, it shows up a lot, and then the thicker cards, they have a tendency to come out that way anyway. But most of these cards you can just plan on. That, I guess that's not going to fit in there, that they have uh, a little bit of edge and corner wear. Mostly we're going to notice it on the back. There's A.J. McCarron for the Bengals, the NFL seal of approval. That is to 149. Let's go ahead and get our other big seal up out of here as well. That one is also to 149, and it is Joe Flacco and the Ravens. That's an example of what I'm talking about. All that white right there and up here and all that. That's what I'm talking about when they come out with that chipping and wear on those edges and corners. Tim, you're in unparalleled. Awesome. We're going to be on that in just a minute. Black gold is such a, a fast break. Robert Woods to 199 for the bills. All Everything in here is numbered, guys, base cards and otherwise. We have a versus card. This is to 99. It's Geno Smith and EJ Manuel. So that is, of course, the Jets and the Bills. You know what that means. It means we're probably going to have to go to random.org unless the same person happens to own both teams. Next up, we have DeAnthony Thomas. That's to 199 for the Chiefs. 
And again, see what I'm talking about? That little white down there on that back corner, they just makes me unhappy, but sadly, that's what happens. They just don't come out of here perfectly. Oh, those are some nice patches. That is, that, that's a nice set of patches uh, for Jadevin Clowney there to 49. And the Texans, that's uh, probably the nicest four patches together that I have seen out of black gold in a long time. Usually at least one or two of them will be a single color. That's a very nice little group there for the Texans. Here's a base card to 99. It's Trey Mason for the Rams. Ruben's here. Hi, Ruben. SNS, you have the 5 a.m. wake up call. Oh, man, that is not fun. 5 a.m. is not my friend. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Buckeye for fun is saying hi from rainy Florida. That's a, an unusual circumstance. Not usually rainy in Florida. We have a third seal of approval. Usually we have two. Tonight we have three. This one is to 149. That again is an NFL seal of approval card. And last but not least, we have a little Derek Carr for the Raiders. How about that, Oakland Raiders? There is your rookie hit for Derek Carr to 99 with your relic and signature and that's what you were here for right if you're here for the raiders this is exactly what you wanted same as guys you can see all of these uh, uh four corners on the back and a few spots on the edges unfortunately are not perfect but that is still a very nice hit with the uh, Derek carr rookie to 99 for the raiders so before we recap we've got this little card here to deal with so we've got Jets on one side, Bills on the other. If we do not have the same team owner, that will go to random. And the way I do it, guys, I always go either left to right or top to bottom. That card is oriented left to right. So it would be typed in first as the Jets, which is Isaac Ryan 4, and second as the Bills, which is Golf Pro 2612. So we're going to head over here to random and get that typed in. Um, anytime I do a random where we have not a lot of items in the list, you know, five, six, seven, eight items in the list, I do random three different times. The first two don't count, only the third one will decide. Sometimes, you know, if we're doing like a list of teams, we've got all 30 or all 32 teams in there, depending on the sport, then I only do it once because there's a lot of items. But in this case, we're going to do it twice. You're going to ignore the first two. I'm sorry, we're going to do it three times. You're going to ignore the first two. The third makes the decision. So ignore the first one. You can ignore the second one. Here comes our third and final. There's three times, our date and time stamp. That is headed to the Bills, the Buffalo Bills, walking off with uh, this little card by way of random. Oh, you're leaving it for Puerto Rico at 2 a.m. You going to get the girls? <laughs> you said neither owner wants it, <laughs> Ruben. <laughs> Ruben says, don't even bother to random it. Nobody wants it. Aw, oh, come on, man. That's so harsh. All right, so of course you know uh, I would not mark on a card that is marked there on the sleeve just so that I know when it comes time to sort that random awarded this card to the buffalo bills okay so that's where that is headed and then we have the nice patches here very nice patches uh numbered to 49 for clowny and the texans and numbered to 199 for the chiefs it's d anthony thomas one of three seal of approvals that one is to 149 joe flacco and the ravens it's got a hot mess of stuff there on the back chipping and wear and all kinds of weird stuff happening and then we have aj mccarran to 149 for the Bengals, and we're going to follow that up to 149 with eric ebron and the lions three seals of approval our two numbered base cards are right there and last but certainly not least is our nice Derek Carr rookie, numbered to 99. That's quite a nice hit for the Raiders. Okay, so that has 2014 black gold in the books, all wrapped up and ready to go. That's going to bring us right up to Unparalleled. Before I do that, though, I need to check on something. 
I had some uh, I had an unpaid team in unparalleled and I need to see if that person has paid or not paid or what their deal is in the meantime while I'm checking that out here I will I will let I will leave you to look at that information we've already gone over it of course in regard to shipping date and consolation cards and all that but in case somebody jumped in later you didn't see it or whatever the case may be um, there it is for you and let me see where we are with this team and all right looks like we are good he he uh, did see my message and we says uh, says he's got it got it handled so I think we are in good shape then to move on ahead with unparalleled so give me one second to get back to where I need to be in fact I think I probably just yeah we'll just get out of there all together that's just going to use up bandwidth we don't want to do that but that's not where I meant to take us no 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 we need to look at our teams this is where we need to be now we're on the same page so this is 16 boxes of 2018 unparalleled football two eight box cases as it says in the listing and that is a two case break break number five and of course everything ended tonight uh, the 28th of August same format guys with the team name on the left and the eBay user ID of our winning bidders is up in lights across from each team so this is the last of the unparalleled too I don't have any more of it so once we rip through this tonight we don't have any more but just because uh, you know see this what is that that's a case right that's a case so like I said we got the little troll coming through tonight <laughs> and, and just arguing like repeatedly somebody who's not even bidding I love these people on eBay they have nothing better to do than just like send you a bunch of messages and they never ask a question right they just insult you so you know I get this big long message about how I'm a horrible dishonest person who doesn't know what they're doing and there's no such thing as an eight box case of unparalleled and I'm like there is such a thing as an eight box case of unparalleled because like I have it I have a bunch of them and so I'm trying to explain it to the person and they just keep you know going off down the rails and you kind of wonder like what in the world people go off their meds or I don't know what happens but somehow they always find me you know what I mean but oh well what are you gonna do Dale you uh, oh you've got night shift this week Dale oh that's no fun night shift I kind of feel sometimes like I'm working night shift only because I end up staying up till three or four o'clock in the morning <laughs> working on sorting or something weird but I, I don't know how you do that it would mess my body clock all up I would not be a fan probably of a uh, night shift I don't think Randy's here hi Randy Buckeye for fun is working the mojo for the Chargers and the Bears Greg I'm assuming you're asking which is the next football are you asking which is the next football that we're breaking or which is the next one that's being released because the next stuff that we're breaking, of course, is going to be Origins. Because we do have more Origins. So we'll be continuing to work that in over the course of the next week or so. And as well as, you know, you saw we had some other one and two box breaks uh, scheduled in there for football. And then the Chrome Mixer, the top Chrome Mixer of the older 13, 14, and 15 stuff. As far as releases, the next one that comes out is going to be Absolute. And it comes out next Wednesday, I think, provided that everything goes as planned. I mean, you know, with the holiday, you never know, but presumably on Wednesday. So guys, there are loads and loads of patterns in here. Some of them are numbered, some of them are not. As we see each of them the first time, we'll talk about them for a minute. That particular pattern is called Hyper, and it is numbered to 25. So anytime you see that pattern, um, it's going to be to 25. When we go through the rest of this, I'll either say Hyper or to 25. I might say both, but so you'll have an idea of what it is that was Hyper. Number to 50, Christian McCaffrey is coming out for the Panthers. 
And what did you say? Oh, you've got, oh, midnight to noon. Oh, the 12 hours I wouldn't mind. Like, I could do the 12 hours. I wouldn't like midnight to noon, though, because I would probably have a hard time then going to sleep at noon. And I don't know. I think I would have a hard time with that schedule. So, Dale, I'm, I feel for you, brother, on that one. This is called Super Plaid. It is numbered to 150. So every time you see that pattern, you know you're looking at a card that will be numbered to 150. Anything that I don't stop and talk about, you can assume the pattern is not numbered. This is Whirl. It is always going to be numbered to 100. That one, of course, is for the Cardinals. I say always numbered to 100, but if it's on a relic, uh, they're often numbered to 50, but if it's on a card that doesn't include a relic or a signature, Whirl is numbered to 100. Joe Washington for the Redskins, a little throwback ink coming out. Pioneer Penmanship, that is numbered to 50. And that is actually the impact pattern, which again will be numbered differently on the base cards, but it's numbered to 50 on this particular hit, Pioneer Penmanship. And you guys know I kind of like the old school hits, so I never mind seeing Pioneer penmanship come out of anything. That's for sure. Uh, so this again, Super Plaid to 150. Oh, a one of one. I like one of ones. Mama likes one of ones. Oh, it's the NFL Shield. Oh, my favorite kind of one of one. Honestly, I like the NFL Shield almost better than the Logo Man. I, I love getting the NFL Shield. Edo Smith and the Falcons and just yay. <laughs> so if you have the Falcons, I officially love your card. You know why? Because it has the NFL Shield on it. Um, Dennis, hey Dennis, this is in fact uh, the 16 box break of Unparalleled for sure. Dale, you out of here? All right, ma'am. Well, have, uh, have a, a good night and part of your day tomorrow at work. I'm sorry they got you stuck on that night shift, but thanks for coming by and saying hey. Okay, that pattern with all the little stars is numbered to 200. It is called Astral, and we will find loads of those. So as with everything else, when you see it next, I'm either going to say to 200, or I might say Astral, but either way, you know it means to 200. So that way we can get through things a little more efficiently than, than uh, stopping on each one. This for the Buccaneers, that pattern is called Impact. It is numbered to 75. And once again, all the patterns that we're not stopping on, like shine and things like that, they're not numbered. So that's why we're not that's why we're not talking about those. This is whirl to 100. And most of those, the rest of the way through, I'm not necessarily going to flip them over since we know what they're going to be numbered to. If there is one that goes by that's yours and you say, we know it's going to be to 100, but you want to know specifically which number it is to 100, which in the series, just ask me and I'll be happy to, you know, grab it and flip it over. But otherwise, we, we kind of cut a path through these for the most part. Tim, you tried for the Falcons tonight and you didn't get them. I know, isn't that, that's always the way, right? And then it's awful when you watch something nice come out and you think, oh my gosh, I was a dollar away or whatever. You know, I mean, I don't know how far your bid was from from the winning bid, but I'm saying I've been in your shoes. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to convey. I've been in your shoes. It's not fun. I don't know a lot about how Edo Smith is playing though. Um, I know, you know, I'm a Calvin Ridley fan, so I'm kind of excited about the Calvin Ridley aspect of uh, the Falcons rookies, but I haven't kept track of Edo. So, what's everybody know about Edo? How's he been, how's he been playing? Is he going to make the cut? What's his deal? Greg, you've got the Redskins tonight, so that penmanship was yours then, if you've got the, the skins tonight. We've got you off to a good start as well to 200 with B.J. Hill. Here come the Tennessee Titans. This is Harold Landry. 
for the Titans. You know, I forgot to say, I think, but, but we have two autographs and one memorabilia hit in each box. This is to 200. It's Andy Dalton. To 200 for the Vikings. Oh my gosh, we're going to have another hit for the Falcons. This one is, is Calvin Ridley. I kind of wish Calvin had been on that one of one. Secretly, I would have preferred it to be Calvin. But nonetheless, I'm happy to pull an NFL shield any day of the week for anybody. Yeah, Johnny Johnny just typed in exactly what I what I said. He goes, Hey, I've got the Falcons. Ridley would have been a lot nicer. <laughs> but he looks good so far. Talking about Ito. Well good. I'm glad that he at least uh that he's at least looking good in, in camp. So that's something anyway. Whirl for the 49ers. But I'm with you. I mean, mainly because I just I like Calvin Ridley and I think Calvin Ridley's gonna do well. I mean, of course you never know until you throw them in there and see how they come out. That's to 150. But I certainly expect Calvin to do well. That is to 150. And Whirl is to 100. High Flyers insert uh, Julio Jones. It's a Falcons kind of night, isn't it? Number to 75, it's Kyle Lawletta. And the Giants... Meanwhile, the Giants are like, why isn't it Saquon Barkley? <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I still think Kyle Laletta has a chance to be good. He got kind of knocked around a bit uh, this past weekend. Spent a little time on his back, but, I mean, you know, kid's young. He's got to learn. Whirl to 100 for the Cowboys. But, yeah, I still like Laletta a little bit. And for sure, they're going to have to do something there. I mean, I guess they're going to put a little oil on the joints of Eli and and hope that between uh, Saquon and and upgrading the line a little bit that they can eke another year out of uh, Eli. But I think his his days are numbered. So if Kyle's got the Kyle's got the goods, he has a chance to get on the field. If not this year, I would certainly think by next. But I don't know. You never know. Maybe Eli will have a career resurgence of some sort. But and it will help that they, you know, that the line's upgraded. So it will if they can keep him upright. That'll help him a little bit too. And just being ha able to hand it off a lot hi that hides a lot of flaws. <laughs> I mean, think about Peyton Manning and the year that uh, the Broncos won the Super Bowl with him at the helm. You know. I mean, they may have won the Super Bowl, but it wasn't necessarily Peyton Manning that got them there. You know what I mean? So, I think he might have to, hopefully Saquon will help stretch out his livelihood a little more. Greg says Eli's about done. <laughs> this is to 150 for the Texans. We have a high flyers, another for the Falcons. This is Julio Jones to 50 with a nice little relic there. Falcons are uh, just taking all the hits tonight, aren't they? Falcons are just going to back up the truck and take them all. Randy, you said you're ready for a Saquon Barkley autograph. Wait, did we pull him out of the last case? That's to 200. I think we did pull him out of the last case of this. Like, I'm not kidding. This is all Falcons. Here comes here comes Edo Smith again. This is not a one of one, but hey, now you've got a spare Edo Smith. You think they're gonna run the ball 40 times a game? Is that what you're is that what you're saying about the Giants, Greg? I'm thinking that's what you're saying there. You're expecting them to run it like crazy. I, I kind of think they will. I don't know about 40 times, but I think they're gonna run it a lot as well. That is to 100 for the Packers. To 100 in the world pattern for the, I think that was the Eagles, wasn't it? That's to 200, Evan Ingram. For the Broncos, Steve Atwater to 35. Wow, that, there's a nice hit for the Broncos. If, you, if you're into that sort of thing and you're interested in somebody other than your rookies, that Steve Atwater to 35 is pretty sweet.
Ah, uh, you like the you like your Julio Jones uh, relic. That's that's good. You know we've uh, we're opening some 2011 prime signatures later this week, Johnny. This is to 200. That is Julio's rookie year. We have pulled him out of there a few times. It's been a redemption though. Ryan Tannehill to 100. I don't know if Panini still has the card or not. If they do, you know, they usually will send it, even though the uh, uh, things are expired. Otherwise, with Julio still being an active player, I would assume they would replace it with a different Julio. That's to 200 for the Jets. I really should have thought to ask some of the last people that hit it out of one of my breaks if they got it or what happened with it. And then I'd know if Panini still had them. To 75, Impact Kirk Cousins and the Vikings. But... I didn't think to do that, so. But he is, uh, he is in there as a redemption anyway. <laughs> you're a diehard Falcons fan, so you're, you're saying the cards are going to a safe home. I like that, man. That's good. Tim, you're a diehard Eagles fan. Okay. Well, Johnny, I know you're saying old redemptions are scary. I'll tell you, here's, here's the reason that I think Julio Jones that you might get. But before I say that, let me just tell you that I did get a Kyrie Irving rookie redemption from 2012 just uh, last month. I pulled it, I don't know maybe six weeks ago, five or six weeks ago, out of a personal box that I opened for myself. And I entered it thinking like you think, well, I might get it, I pro you know, might get it in a hundred years. No way, man. It, they had it in the mail to me like three weeks later or something. So my point is they're still floating around, but Julio Jones in particular, you know, he did not sign any of his stuff for Panini until I think it was 2015. This is uh, to 150. So all of those rookie year stuff, everything, 2011, 12, 13, and I believe 14, were all in there as redemptions. And Julio did not sign one single anything for Panini until, might have been 16, but I think it was 15. And that's when all those redemptions got filled. This is impact to 75 for the Ravens. So I feel like, since that was fairly recently in the grand scheme of things, that's to 200, that there is definitely a possibility that you could still have Julio Jones in the building. So, Lorenzo Carter for the Giants. Yeah, it was a fast redemption on the Kyrie. I was really shocked. I felt like I would probably get it. At some point, I just, because again, still an active player, you know, usually those guys, they can, you, you eventually get them, but I really wasn't expecting it to be as fast as it was. I was really very happy with it. That is hyper to 25, Richard Sherman, 49ers. But I have gotten within this calendar year, that's to 200. I have gotten redemptions back from products as far back as 2009. That is to 200. However, I also have redemptions that were entered non-expired, like entered when they should have been for Ezekiel Elliott's rookie year out of 2016 and a bunch of Steelers rookies from 2016 that I still haven't gotten two years later. And those weren't even expired when I entered them. There's James Washington for my Pittsburgh Steelers. So the point of the matter is there's no rhyme or reason. And sometimes you get things and sometimes you don't. That is to 150. But they will sub out when you don't get them. The problem is you've got to track down a live person. And social media is about the only way to do it. Doug Baldwin and the Seahawks with a High Flyers relic. <clears throat> but every once in a while, they surprise you and get one out to you <laughs> on time and on target, if you will. That was to 200 for the 49ers.
So, Tim, with your Eagles, I don't think Wentz is going to be ready week one, is he? I mean, it doesn't seem like he's going to be. So, I guess you're looking, what, Nick Foles there? He got a little banged up, but I think he's back, back out and mixing it up again, right? I like the Eagles a bit. Uh, of course, I'm a Steelers fan, but, you know, Eagles are in the same state. They're just... Uh, not quite the same as my Steelers, but uh, I was rooting for the Eagles last year. Yeah, so it is going to be, you think it is going to be Nick Foles for, uh, for week one. I mean, that's kind of what it's looking like. Buckeye for fun said Nick Foles looked bad the last game. But you know what? I mean, he steps up when he has to now, doesn't he? That's to 200. I mean, you know, guy won you a Super Bowl last year, so he's got it in him. That is to 150. And sometimes, kind of like we were talking about the Peyton Manning deal earlier with the last year with the Broncos, that's to 100. Sometimes it is that the quarterback just doesn't keep you from winning <laughs> and sometimes they help you win nick Foles helped the eagles win when he took over last year he didn't just stay out of the way he really did some good stuff that's josh wet uh for the eagles super plaid to 150. mo hurst for the ravens so i gotta think Foles is gonna be fine i mean if you can stand up there in the pressure of all of that and win a super bowl the guy's gonna be fine they just you know it's preseason. the guy got drilled the week before that's to 200. he's just gotta shake the rust off or whatever when it when it matters it'll be fine Pat Mahomes to 200. Here comes Sam Darnold, looking like he's going to be a week one starter for the Jets. And other quarterbacks, Sam Darnold, I think, is coming out more often than just about anybody else. Definitely more often than Lamar Jackson. Ah, here's our handsome little case hit, and it is for the Eagles. How about that? Galactic J. Ajayi. So, guys, this falls um, once every 16 boxes, so once per master, which is two eight-box cases that make up a master case. So, that's a nice little hit. Josh Sweat for the Eagles, hyper to 25. Now, all of a sudden, the Eagles are going on a run. It was the Falcons. Now it's the Eagles. That's Impact to 75 with Todd Gurley. We have a Bright Futures Michael Thomas relic for the Saints. And that's on the Hyper or Super Plaid, rather, but there's no number on it. But the background is Super Plaid. His promotion for the opening game. <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> this is like uh, this is like uh, the opening game case. All Eagles and Falcons. <laughs> kind of crazy. But of course, we did mix in a, a few others in there, including that nice Sam Darnold a second ago. And we have a ways to go yet, too. So I've got two more boxes here and then another eight box case on top of that. <laughs> You're booing the Saints? <laughs> Why are you booing the Saints, Johnny? I like Drew Brees. I, would have, I mean, you know. Anytime you're playing my team, the Steelers, I'm going to be for my team. But outside of that, there's a lot of players I like on other teams. And Drew Brees, I, I do like him. I don't have any problem with the Saints. 
a die cut Julio Jones as we continue on our march for the Falcons and the Eagles. This one is numbered to 200 star factor die cut. We got a little change of pace here with Jamon Moore and the Packers. Because you are never going to open a product that you don't find Jamon Moore. At least that's how it feels. He's in virtually everything and he has a terrible, terrible signature that I do not like at all. That's the 200, Marshawn Lynch. Here come the skins, Darius Geis, a little rookie relic, which you're just going to have to stash since he tore his ACL and he's going to miss his rookie year. We're going to have to stash all the Geis rookie cards and wait until next year to see what we've got. To 200, Kyle Long. Another die cut. This one is for the Packers. It's Aaron Rodgers. Ah, uh, you need you need an Eagles autograph, you said. All right, so you're you're tired of messing around. You're ready for your Eagles hit. Cortland Sutton to 150 super plaid. Well, I will do my best. That's to 150 for the Rams. To 150 for the, uh, why did I start, I start to say the Falcons? No, that would be a different bird. That was for the Cardinals to 150 that you saw there a second ago. I'm just gotten myself in the habit of saying Falcons because we've seen them so much tonight. World to 100 for the Titans. Bradley Chubb, nice hit for the Broncos, number to 75, and that's an excellent patch. That's a really nice patch for the Broncos. Three colors. Bradley Chubb's a fantastic hit, I think, and to 75, nice, nicely done, Broncos. And you've probably been waiting on that, too. You're like, where's all our hits? To 75 for the Lions, that was Golden Tate with the impact design. I guess I didn't cut those two yet, did I? Ah, Tim, you have got the Broncos. Yeah, that's right. We did. I had already forgotten about the Steve Atwater. See how quickly I forget about them? I get others uh, opened and they replace them in my mind. <laughs> Yeah, so that's right. Between the Atwater and uh, the Bradley Chubb, you're doing all right with your Broncos. Yeah, Johnny, I am with you. Jamon Moore is a terrible signature. I mean, Royce Freeman is nothing to write home about. I mean, that guy's just an R and an F, but at least you get the F. Jamon Moore... It started out, if you look at some of his really early autographs, you got the J and a little line, a tiny line, an apostrophe, and what could be con interpreted as maybe the start of an M. And then the farther along you got, it just kind of devolved into what it is now, which is just the J. Sometimes, most of the time, I guess the apostrophe, but... Hardly ever do you get any even little squiggly line to represent the rest of it. It's kind of not cool. Joey Bosa to 200. His little brother is supposed to be better than him. That's what they've been saying for the last six months anyway. That is World to 100. I guess brother's name is Nick, maybe. That's to 100 for the Saints. For the Lions, it is Carry On Johnson. I don't know. My UK Wildcats named their starting quarterback. And uh, we went with Terry Wilson. Touchdown, Terry. Who's a uh, Juco transfer in to 150. This is his first year with us. And... I kind of thought Gunnar Hoke was going to win it because Gunnar's been in the system for three years. And I really thought he was going to win it. Tremaine Edmonds to 200. But now they gave it to touchdown Terry Wilson, so we'll see what he does. The, Jim Kelly is to 200. 
Another Julio Jones. This is crazy. Uh, high flyers to 50 for the Falcons. And yeah, you got a three color patch there because you barely eked in that little tiny bit of red. This is really kind of silly how many Falcons have come out of here at this point. It, you're going to have to reward your mailman. You're gonna, he's going to be carrying a big package for you. That's the 150 Super Plaid. Here is a Pioneer Penmanship Ahmad Rashad to 50. We pulled another Ahmad Rashad out of one of our cases recently. What, the, what is that? Hang on. I felt something strange. Oh, it's just on the, the sleeve. Just as I guess, been bent or something. So it had a little weird spot on it that I felt. But it's all good. It's all fine. So the Vikings with Ahmad Rashad. There is Impact to 75 for who else but the Eagles. As we're just trading off. It's an Eagles hit, a Falcons hit, an Eagles hit, a Falcons hit. Kyle, we did already do 2014 black gold. It was first up tonight. Do you um, you want to tell me who your team is? I may or may not remember if we pulled anything for them, to be honest. But somebody else who's in chat might remember if I don't. I am not really good about retaining the stuff um, for longer than it takes kind of to say it, unless it's one of the big ones, you know, like if it's a one of one or something, I remember it. But so tell us who you have, Kyle. We'll see if we can help you out. Oh, Kyle, you <laughs> you were watching the break from last night. Yeah, you know what? The way that YouTube does those is kind of weird a little bit. They archive the ones from previous nights, and the title that they put on the archived ones just says, I think, like live stream or something. So if you don't look at the date, you can easily start like watching the wrong one. Um, I always suggest that you look for the little, it has a box that says live in red letters, but it's a little bitty like down in the lower corner. Always look for that, or sometimes you're going to end up in the wrong one. There is Larry Fitzgerald to 100. But of course, I do also um, put at the top on the spreadsheets always, I put the night, the day of the week, and the date, you know, trying to help with that sort of thing so that you know what you're watching and you can say, hey, wait, this isn't Monday night, you know, but I'm kind of like you guys, I fast forward to, it's easy to do. Royce Freeman coming out for the Broncos. Oh, you had the Lions. Yeah, there was, uh, um, uh, yes, Benrod typed it in already. Yes, there was a an Eric Ebron NFL seal of approval, which is like the gold NFL shield, probably numbered to 199 or, or 149, something like that. Alan Hearns to 150. For the Dolphins, it's a Minka Fitzpatrick. Yeah, Randy, we have um, pulled a lot out of those three teams. You're right. We haven't, uh, we've pulled a few other teams in here. I mean, we've had a Viking or two and a Dolphin and a Packer. Uh, that's to 100. But it has been a lot of saying uh, Eagles and, and uh, Falcons for sure. Derwin James looks like he is going to be a beast. That is to 200. For the Dallas Cowboys, it's a Dak Prescott relic. Oh, Tim, you're cleaning up. You have the Dolphins tonight, too. Then that nice little Minka Fitzpatrick is headed your way. There's always lots of Dolphins in these things. Usually Mike Gesicki is who you find a bunch. To 75, DJ Moore, Impact. And to 150, it's Super Plaid.
that is to 200. It was astral whirl for the redskins to 100. And that is our first eight box case. Now we got to get into the second one. And see what kind of fabulousness we can find in it. But you know what? I gotta move this first because I don't want I don't want our case running into our little stack of hits because that would kind of not be cool, would it? Nobody wants that. Tim, you have a, a ton of Gasicki. I don't doubt it, man. He's really been um coming he comes out a lot i don't think anybody comes out as much though as marquez valdez scantling like that guy comes out of everything for the packers and it seems like sometimes he comes out bunches and bunches of times out of like the same thing i don't know what his deal is Yeah, Kalen Balaj is another one. You're absolutely right, Buckeye, for fun. He actually comes out more than Mike Gasicki does these days. I think it seemed like in the earlier products we got more Gasicki, but you're very right that in the these later products we have definitely been getting more Balaj, Kalen Balaj. He is for sure everywhere, as you say. Oh, you buy the... Oh, you like Penn State? Okay. Well, I can't blame you there. Got lots of Penn State guys. Uh, I think Greg's a Penn State fan too, aren't you, Greg? You're a Penn State guy, maybe. I think so. There's all kinds of uh, Penn State that we run across. Johnny, you just had your wisdom teeth taken out. Oh, man, that's not fun. You know, I never had to have mine taken out, believe it or not. They all came in straight and normal and not in a weird place where I couldn't get to them or anything. And so I kept all my wisdom teeth, and I was so grateful because my sister was not so fortunate. She had to have hers uh, cut out. Boy, I remember her. she did not have a pleasant time of that. So, so I'm glad that the hits are helping with your uh, with your pain on that because that's not fun, man. That's not fun. That is an impact, Doug Baldwin to 75 for the Seahawks. Did you have all four of them out or just part of them? Whirl to 100 for the Browns. I guess it doesn't matter, two or four, or whatever, it doesn't matter. It still kind of hurts, I think. I mean, even one, nobody, will, just nobody needs to have stuff cut out of their head, I think, right? <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the end result. That is to 150 super plaid. None of us want stuff cut or pulled out of our heads. That is to 200. That is to 100. It's Larry Fitzgerald and the Cardinals. Here come the Cowboys with Dalton Schultz. My Steelers picked up a former Cowboy this week, Ryan Sweetser, who had been traded uh, to the Raiders really not that long ago, like a month or so ago maybe. That's to 200. It's Evan Ingram. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here it is. Are you here still? I bet you are, Randy. Let's see if it's signed. I bet it is. Oh, it is not. Daggone it, Randy. I thought that was going to be signed. Daggone it. Well, anyway, we've got you headed in the right direction with a nice Saquon Barkley relic. And I swear to you, I was hoping that was going to be signed. I'm like, oh, come on. Randy's going to hit it. Well, daggone it. Well, we're getting you closer anyway. You had to have three, three of them out and one of them was laying over to the side. Oh, you know that hurt. Daggone, that's making my mouth hurt, man. <laughs> I'm not even the one that had them out, Johnny. That's the 200. But I can like feel it. I can feel your pain, even though my teeth are in there. 
That is to 150 super plaid. Uh oh, Steelers to 75. Mason Rudolph, baby. Mason Rudolph did not look good enough in camp to take the job away from Landry Jones, which kind of bums me out because I wanted him to do that because I wanted us to trade Landry Jones, who, by the way, we only have under contract for one more season, and then he goes to a free agent. We're not going to be able to afford him. And I wanted us to keep Josh Dobbs, who's young and inexpensive, relatively speaking, who would be under team control for several more years and who is getting better. But instead, Mason hasn't been able to outplay Landry. So, I don't know. Maybe, I hope, I, I don't know that they're going to keep four quarterbacks. I mean, that you're trying to win a Super Bowl. I don't know that you want to take a roster spot for a fourth quarterback. But at the same time, you cut Josh Dobbs. There's no way he makes it to the to the practice squad. Somebody's going to pick him up. Can't cut Mason Rudolph. That's who they assume is the future. Can't cut Landry because Mason can't outplay him and take his spot. So what do you do? I still say they get rid of Landry. That's what I'd do. But I would, I would have traded him. But that's not what's going to happen. So there you go. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Buckeye, for fun. I want Landry to go for the reasons I just said. I mean, we, 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 he's reached his ceiling. We know we're not missing out on anything there. And we're not going to be able to afford him and keep him. And, you know, he's just going to walk for nothing after a season. But, but anyway, that is the 75 impact for the Giants. It's Jonathan Stewart. Now, guys, notice, of course, he's not in that uniform, right? He's in a Panthers uniform. He's been traded, obviously. It's always going to go to the team that is designated on the card, not the uniform that they are in. Devontae Adams for the Green Bay Packers with a High Flyers relic. So I don't know what they're going to do with Josh Dobbs, but I don't think there's any way he makes it to the practice squad. I know you you think you think Buckeye for fun. You think he would make it to the practice squad. I don't. I, there are too many teams that can use him as a as a backup or a third option or whatever the case may be. You know, hell, I mean, heck, the Patriots would probably pick him up just to make sure we couldn't have him on the practice squad. <laughs> this is Lane Beyond Bell, Star Factor die cut. For the Steelers. Yeah, I could see that happening. That is to 150 super plaid. Just the Patriots picking him up just for the sole purpose of making sure that he doesn't go to our practice squad. Or the Bengals, same scenario, to 200 astral. It's a rough division, man. You got to do what you got to do. That is to 100 for the Cowboys. It was Alan Hearns. Um, Greg, Le'Veon Bell is saying he will show up on Monday, which is about the same that he did last year. That's to 200 for the Texans. So, allegedly, he will show up on Monday to 150 Super Plaid, which, of course, also messes things up because, you know, you got to cut down, obviously, to the 53 man before that. So we're going to cut down knowing that somebody else is going to get cut when Le'Veon shows up and signs his uh, tender on Monday. Sometimes we're able to re-sign whoever that is if we want them, you know, practice squad or whatever. Michael Gallup and the Dallas Cowboys. But yeah, I guess he's going to waltz into town along about Monday to 200 for the Chargers. Here's a hyper. That is Marcus Mariota and the Titans. So yeah, I definitely think somebody would would grab Josh Dobbs. I don't think there's much way that he makes it to the to the practice squad. Tremaine Edmonds. That's a nice hit for the Bills. You don't really pull a lot of Tremaine Edmonds, and I think he's going to be good. Of course, we've got his brother, 
with the Steelers, but Tremaine was the more heralded of the two coming out of college. But I like his brother. I like Farrell. I think he's going to be... Uh, He's going to be very useful for the Steelers. On the face of it, anyway. That's how it seems. Ooh, I've hit something over here. Hang on. What'd I hit? There we go. <laughs> some strange... Some strange things going on over there on my broadcast software. Yeah, Greg, you're right. I mean, they did offer him a nice contract, but it just didn't meet the amount of money that he wanted. I think really it was probably as much about the guaranteed money as it was anything else. I mean, I know we didn't hit the total amount that he wanted, but even beyond that, I think there just must not have been enough guaranteed money to to make him happy and then of course you know in the meantime we got OBJ signing that gigantic contract that's to 200 Cedric Wilson which is going to reset it all anyway so that's impact Amari Cooper to 75 so I mean definitely Le'Veon's gone after this year I honestly I'd just soon trade him be done with it you know who cares High Flyers, Mike Evans, and the Bucks. Relic. I mean, I'm not denying that he's good, and he certainly adds a level that we need on a team that's trying to get to the Super Bowl. That's to 200, Jack Lambert. But at the same time, he's going to walk, and we're going to get nothing for him anyway. So. Naheem Hines for the Colts. But you know what? If you break down Buckeye for fun, break down Todd Gurley's contract, he really didn't get that much. I mean, he did, but he didn't. Some of that money was already built in anyway under the deal that he was playing under currently that didn't change. That's super plaid to 150 Like maybe this year and next year, I don't even know if that money changed. And then on top of that, his guaranteed money, that is a world to 100 wasn't like anything that was ridiculous or through the roof. So, really, on the face of it, I mean, it looks like one thing, but it's not really that thing. I mean, I could say that I was going to pay you $500 million over 10 years, but if I cut you after six months and I've only guaranteed you $5 million, what you really have is a $5 million contract, you know? It's Eli Manning to one hundred. So there's a lot of factors in there, but for whatever reason, it didn't meet his eye test, and that's fine. Super plaid to 150. I just, uh, at that point, I, that's to 200. I would have rather the guy just shown up and tried to make the most of his last year and be in shape and learn the new offense, by the way, and be ready to go as opposed to whatever stupid stuff he's been doing. That is Arden Key for the Raiders. And I'm not saying he shouldn't be paid, okay? I'm not saying the guy's not worth it or he ha hasn't earned it or doesn't deserve it or any of that. I'm just saying once it's apparent that it's not going to happen and you know you're playing on the tag for whatever it is, $14.5 then just show up and get to work. But I don't know. Yeah, I know. Arden Key's autograph is huge. And you know who else's autograph is gigantic? Is that kid for the Bengals. Um, Mark Walton, right? I always want to get Mark Walton and Mark Andrews opposite. So whichever one is with the Bengals, one's with the Bengals and one's with the Ravens, whichever Mark is the Bengals also has a gigantic autograph. Oh, Ben Rudd, you like he liked uh, the autograph of uh, Tremaine Edmonds. He thought has nice penmanship. There's a Zeke super plaid to 150. So I don't know. I guess we'll be finding out pretty soon how it's all going to shake out. That is impact to 75 for Clay Matthews. 
That's to 150, Mason Rudolph. To 100 for the Browns. And here is Carry On Johnson again for the Lions. A two sticker auto. <laughs> yeah, that's about the truth on Arden Key. You're not kidding. Oh, I forgot about Hard Knocks being tonight. I guess my DVR got it though. Uh, did anyone watch Hard Knocks tonight yet already? That's the Giants to 200. The Eagles, Zach Ertz. A little Zach relic. I think it's been good this year. Of course, you knew it was going to be. As soon as, as soon as they announced it was the Browns, I was like, oh, yeah, Hard Knocks is going to be good this year. <laughs> That's the 200. It was Josh Adams for the Eagles. To 200, Jordan Howard for the Bears. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Hey, it's Vita Bay. Ha ah, I like that. Vita's a big old boy. A big lineman. First round pick for the Bucks Should be solid. That is hyper to 25. Jabril Peppers and the Browns. All right, we are halfway through our second eight box case. So we've opened four. We have four left to go. So, of course, this does finish up the Unparalleled. We do still have more Origins, so we will be opening that in the days ahead. And then, of course, as I mentioned earlier, next Wednesday, so a week from tomorrow, provided that Panini doesn't move the date or we don't have some weird shipping problem because of the holiday, next Wednesday should have us opening Absolute Football. Oh, Tim, I need to find you a Gasicki so you can sleep soundly tonight. And Ben Rudd, you want a Steelers one of one. Well, you know I would happily find you a Steelers one of one. If there's one in here, I will be more than happy to see that come out. At least we found your Mason Rudolph. So we we found your big uh, your big gun. I'd like to find, of course, a James Washington as well, but that is an impact Doug Baldwin to 75 for the Seahawks, which I want to say we might have seen one of earlier. It's Juju to 150 Steelers. That is to 200 for the Texans. Ooh, a little Star Factor Hyper. Kareem Hunt and the Chiefs to 25 die cut. Nice. That's the lowest number die cut uh, that I personally have pulled anyway. Most of them are either unnumbered or higher. I saw the Dolphin. I thought we might have your Gasicki, but no. It's Kalen again. Oh, but look at that patch. Dang, that's nice. So to be an unparalleled, which is, you know, not really a high... It's not the best patches. Certified has better patches than Unparalleled. But that is a really nice patch to be in Unparalleled and to be numbered 75. So that was a good bang for your buck, so to speak. Is the point I was trying to make there. That's to 200 for the Jags. My screen's trying to time out on me over there. That is to 150. Titans. The Ravens have a hit. It's Jordan Lasley. And still, I'm going to tell you, my favorite card still of the month is that Lamar Jackson out of NT the other day with the Cardinal head on it. I saw that again. I was sorting this afternoon. That is to 200. And here's a nice little Josh Allen. It's not numbered, but, but it is uh, on the different card set. And, of course, I saw that Lamar Jackson again today. I just had to stop and look at that thing for a second. That is such an awesome card. It was numbered to five. Oh, it's, it is definitely my favorite card of the month. 
That's to 100 Leonard Fournette Whirl. Speaking of Lamar Jackson and the Ravens, there he is, but that one is a patch and we want some ink. Yeah, I wish I had more NT Collegiate. I, I just messed up there, guys. I mean, you can usually go back and pick that up the following week without a whole lot of problems. So I only ordered in the three cases and thought, yeah, no problem. I'll just go pick up another couple of cases the following week and oh guess what no won't <laughs> two of my distributors were completely sold out of it and the third one had it but was asking an astronomical sum of money and sold it even at the astronomical price so so there you go what are you gonna do What did you say about the oh the Lamar autos? Uh, you're saying he doesn't have a lot of uh, value, I guess is what you're saying, because he hasn't been playing super well. Well, it wasn't even about that, although I still think they bring pretty good money. It was, you had to see the card. The card was, it was, like Lamar Jackson was right here on the card. And of course, you know, NT's white. It's a pretty clean looking card. So here's Lamar in whatever pose he was in. Up here is a picture of the Arizona Cardinal, you know, the logo of U of L. And right below it where the relic is, was the Cardinal head. Right? That was the patch. It was the Cardinal's head. And it was centered directly below the printed picture of the Cardinal on the card. I mean, it was just awesome. And it was number five. So, I mean, it's still my favorite card of the month. Because I liked that patch. That patch just put me right over the edge. It made me so happy. That is number 200 for the Titans. See how easy I am, right? Just nice patches make me happy. It's so easy. For the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, it is Carlton Davis. Oh, you were not saying that you didn't think it had a high value. You were saying he hadn't signed a, a lot. That's the Eagles to 100. I would absolutely agree with you on that. He shows up not nearly with the regularity that everyone else does. That's to 200. That Was that Marquez? No, it's Joshua Jackson. I think part of that, though, guys, is the fact that uh, I think we might be getting ready to hit him right here, so hang on. But I don't know if it's going to be signed. Oh, daggone it. Why do we have just another relic? Why, why can't you sign it, Lamar? Why are we not able to speak you into existence, as LeVar Ball would say? Um, I think part of the reason may be that he didn't sign as much, particularly in the early part of the year, that's to 75, is because you know he doesn't have an agent, right? His mother acted as his agent. Because basically they figured, hey, why give this big chunk of money to somebody? This is to 150 Super Plaid when it's a guaranteed, you know, scale contract for rookies. Which is sound, except there's, you know, there's other things you could have negotiated in there that maybe you could have used an agent for. But anyway, that's to 150 And I suspect that maybe that's part of the reason he didn't sign as much. Because I think these guys, their agents probably are working a lot of these deals for them. And I'm sure it's not a matter of people not asking Lamar. It's probably just a matter of, you know, going through different channels and things. Auden Tate Hyper to 25 for the Bengals. And that might not be it anyway. He might just be like, no, I don't want to sign anything. So who knows? That's to 200. That's just my speculation. Traquan Smith. For the Saints. You said every set his autographs seemed to be in a shorter run. Well, he wasn't even in uh, a lot of the early sets. He wasn't even in at all. So, I mean, I was happy just to see him start showing up, especially showing up live in the product. Because as opposed to, you know, redemption or whatever.
Yeah, that was the highest one was numbered to 99 and that uh, you pulled out a certified. Yeah, I mean, he's, there's not a lot of them out there right now. But I'm sure, as you say, that'll probably change along the way, too, like everything else. Somewhere along the way, he'll sit down and sign a bunch of them. Greg, you said his autographs are going for good money. Give us an example. What's What are some of the recent ones bringing? I haven't looked up the prices on anything in a while. I always intend to, and then I get busy because I'm always I'm always either shipping or sorting or listing or breaking or something. I just I don't know. I don't have time to look up as much stuff like that as I would like. To two hundred. For the Packers, that was Leroy Butler. A Viking, Mike Hughes. Now, there's one you don't pull very often. Vikings have been in a little bit of short supply this year. Anybody know what the deal is with Dalvin Cook? Speaking of the Vikings, that's to 200. Has he been playing in the preseason, or is he not back uh, ready to go yet? That's the 200 Lamar Jackson Ravens. Here's another Bellage for the Dolphins. Going to 150 to 200. Yeah, that's a pretty that's a pretty healthy little clip for Lamar autographs. Riley Ferguson. That is number to 100. It's Whirl. He got cut down there a long time ago, but there you have it. Still in there. Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills with a relic. He's going to be ready week one. Okay. All right. So he didn't play preseason. I mean, he was so dynamic last year until he got hurt. I hope he comes back the same. That's Des Bryant to 200 for the Cowboys. Giants world to 100. Yeah, I saw the Browns only offered Des, um, what was it, five million a year, I think, is what they offered him. Of course, he'd already turned down seven million a year from the Ravens. That's to 150 super plaid. So it looks like Des is going to be sitting home, at least for the first part of the season, maybe until somebody gets hurt somewhere. That's to 75 Broncos. Which I'm shocked. I really thought Des would make a deal somewhere. I'm kind of shocked that the Browns were like so cheap. Because they should have a ton of cap space. <laughs> Oops. They should more than have enough money to pay for Des Bryant. I guess they just don't think he's worth it. I don't know what the deal is. But I thought that was kind of weird. That's such a lowball offer. <laughs> Tim says Dez is going to be playing for the couch boys, as in setting home on his rump. <laughs> yeah, Dennis, I agree with you. Watching some of those preseason games can just make you worry unnecessarily. So you have to either not watch them or you have to watch them and just know that it's really not indicative of your season. Because you know what? They're always experimenting with personnel and schemes. And they're not game planning anything. They're just kind of going out there saying, hey. So, yeah. You can't put much stock in preseason most of the time. That's the 25. It's Hyper Scarlet for the Texans. But definitely it can make you worry. I mean, we're all guilty of that at times. That's the 200 Mariota. And the Titans to 200 for the Vikes. It's Mike Hughes. Oh, I forgot to say Last Box Mojo. Well, that's all right. Last Box Mojo right now. We haven't pulled anything out of it yet, so we'll say it now. There we go. And we have to 158 Tom Brady for the Patriots. 
the Broncos are going to have Deshaun Hamilton headed their way. You're saying Dez isn't worth, uh, Dez isn't, you don't even think Dez is worth the five million to the Browns? Like I do. <laughs> I mean, he might be worth the, the five million for the locker room presence. I'm not saying Jarvis Landry doesn't have a good locker room presence because by all accounts he seems to, but I would think Dez Bryant would be worth the five million a season if you're the Browns. That's to 150, Jordan Lasley. Stupid Riley Ferguson again. Back on you, Riley. Taking up our hits. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. See? Now, I just, I don't like pulling Riley twice. Because he's already been cut. We don't want him. Jordan Howard to 100. A rookie focused Mason Rudolph relic. Steelers. He's a Penn Stater. Okay. <laughs> Johnny says they don't need his mouth. <laughs> well, I don't know. That is to 150 super plaid. I mean, the Browns are so young. I That's, you know, that's to 200. That is the good thing about Jarvis Landry and some of the free agent people that have worked their way in that direction. But I do think Des could have been useful. I'm... I'm kind of surprised they didn't cut a deal with him, but yet I'm not. I mean, it's the Browns, and they're the ones who messed up the paperwork for A.J. McCarron. <laughs> you know? Missed, faxed it in, what, like 60 seconds after the deadline or something? I don't know, something stupid. It is recap time. We have Kareem Hunt, numbered to 25, Star Factor die cut. A Le'Veon Bell Star Factor die cut. Aaron Rodgers, same as. And last but not least is a Julio Jones Star Factor die cut, numbered to 200 on Julio. And we have Steelers, Buccaneers, the Bills, the Saints, the Ravens, the Buccaneers again, the Ravens again, the Ravens again, the Dolphins. The Buccaneers, Eagles, Lions, Raiders, Colts, Bucks, Bills, Cowboys, Packers, Well, that's true, Dennis. Des would complain about not having the ball enough no matter where he is. That's probably true. That is the Broncos, the Vikings. Steelers, Cowboys, Broncos, Vikings, Broncos. Seahawks, Giants, Falcons, Falcons, Titans. Oh, we have to look at this one again at the front and the back of this handsome fellow. Because that's our NFL Shield, our handsome one-of-one one card, Edo Smith, and the Falcons. Yay, NFL Shield. The Redskins. I'd almost forgotten about Joe Washington that's so far back. Christian McCaffrey and the Panthers. Dolphins. Giants. Cowboys. Dolphins. Falcon. Lion. Redskin. Packer, Saint, uh, Eagle, that's in there because it's uh, a case hit once every 16 boxes. That's Galactic. Oh, I'd forgotten about Sam Darnold being in there too for the Jets. I really had forgotten he was in there. <laughs> that's how long ago we saw him. Then the Raiders... Oh, we did have a James Washington. See, while ago I said, oh, we pulled Mason Rudolph. We haven't pulled James Washington. Uh, yeah, we have. There he is. Steelers. Broncos with uh, the nice Atwater. Julio Jones for the Falcons. And Kyle Lolletta for the Giants. And that, guys, that is all we have to open tonight. 
But, you know what I will do? Well, first of all, where I hit the camera earlier, maybe I should try to straighten it back out. But I will put up the spreadsheet information one more time for those of you who might have missed it. If you want to catch any of this stuff, we'll throw it up here one more time. This, of course, the break I'm still working on. I want to get this filled. We're making progress, but we're not there yet. This is the Leaf Greatest Hits Football. It's a case break. Not going to list it on eBay, I hope. I'm hoping to just sell it all through chat and messages. And it will also have a, you'll have a shot at an autographed Saquon Barkley jersey in there as well. Because I bought that from my distributor this week. We're adding it to the break. And Leaf Greatest Hits, once again, they are buyback cards. So they are Topps cards and they are Panini cards. They could be Upper Deck or something else too. But the majority will probably be either Topps or Panini. A lot of them are graded. If they're not graded, they're encased. And they're usually pretty awesome hits. $45 a spot, random teams. We've got 14 of the spots filled. Once they all fill up, then um, we'll, we'll schedule that break to take place. That's not where I wanted to be. This is. And this is, of course, um, the stuff that's coming up over the days ahead. So tomorrow night, 16 black gold. We open 14 tonight. It'll be 16 tomorrow. A couple of boxes of 2007 Upper Deck Premier, which I haven't opened in a while. That is the rookie year of Adrian Peterson, by the way. Most of you probably know that, but anyway. We will open a case of Origins and a case of Chronicles tomorrow night as well. Thursday, another half case of Leaf jerseys. A half case, which will be six boxes of Gold Rush Series 3 autographed mini helmets. And a case of Topps Chrome Jumbo Baseball. It's the last case of Topps Chrome that I have. It's 40 hits in that break. On Friday, a triple play baseball box. A, an autographed baseball glove break. That's a brand new product from Hit Parade. Topps Diamond Icons. The high, high end, nice diamond icons. Um, every other box this year has a cut signature, by the by. And what else? A half case of Contenders Draft Picks Basketball, which comes out on Friday. We'll open a half case on Friday. Those are six boxes from a case that was shared with someone else. So I got six and they got six. So it's not necessarily the start of a new case. It is six boxes from a shared case for those of you who care about that sort of thing. On Saturday, we will open another item we haven't tried before. It's an autographed event ticket. It is multi-sport. It can be from really just about anything. A lot of those look to be graded. Check out the images and, and the information I have on the listing. See what you think. And another full-size autographed football helmet. A half case of 2011 Prime Signatures, which we haven't opened in months. A Topps Chrome Football Mixer, a box of 13, a box of 14, and a box of 2015 Topps Chrome Football. Sunday, the second half of the Mini Helmets case, the second half of the Leaf Jersey case, and a fourth case of Leaf, of not of Leaf, of Panini Chronicles Baseball, which, by the way, has been pretty awesome, and we've been pulling some nice stuff out of it. I've been super happy with Chronicles, completely redesigned from last year. And, yeah, so I guess, um, Dennis, the ones that you saw on the screen just a second ago, those are all listed on eBay. The ones right here that we were just looking at, all those are listed on eBay. The only one that I'm selling direct right now is the Leaf Greatest Hits Football. I don't sell a lot of stuff directly. Probably moving into maybe next year, um, if I can ever get my website up will probably start moving some some breaks over to the website when it gets done but the vast majority of it all of it right now is on ebay except for the leaf greatest hits football and every once in a while that's what i do i'll just throw in you know something that we'll do that way by way of chat or whatever but most of the time they're going to run through ebay it's just leaf greatest hits is hard to run through ebay because a lot of people don't know what the product is and like it's not cheap right they're like 600 dollars boxes of cards so you can't kind of throw it up there and if nobody knows what it is then you know you sell the case out for 800 dollars and lose a bunch of money is like not good so some things like that i and also random teams i hate listing random teams on ebay because then you get people who not only do they not know what a break is they don't know what a random team break is and i don't know it just seems like you can go down a rabbit hole that gets very time-consuming. 
when you start doing things outside of what a quote traditional break is when you're on eBay. So usually random team stuff is another thing I avoid putting on eBay. So for what that's worth. All right. Well, I guess that is it for me tonight. So once again, thank you, everybody. I appreciate you being here. I hope I will see you again later this week. Of course, I will be back at it tomorrow night. So until then, take care. Have a good evening. And uh, we'll see you in about 24 hours, maybe a little less than. Bye now.